everyone and welcome back to our channel. I am back alone by my lonesome now because Bree has no interest <laughs> in doing these subscription box or bags. So if you're interested in seeing months and months worth of Morphe Me, stay tuned. have let's see here we're starting with September October November December and January and what I'm speaking of is the subscription service known as Morphe Me this is a subscription service that is sponsored by Live Glam but the products are Morphe obviously and in this particular case, they have several. They have one that does lips and stuff like that, but this is makeup brushes. And if I remember correctly, I will put all the information down below in the description box in case you're interested in learning more of the subscription service, but I think it's 20 bucks a month if I remember correctly. Every month, uh, Live Glam will send you out a package like this that will have God knows what in it, uh, but that's the reason I like it because so far, I you know, the reason I got the subscription service was just to get, to be able to receive brushes every month, not know what they are, and just kind of have a taste of Morphe and what Morphe has to offer. So, let me get the scissors. I can never get these open. And for those of you that are new to our channel, just to mention real quick, I, if you haven't seen any video prior to this, my name is Shelby. I am the mom portion of beauty.mom and you will see Brie in other videos and in several of the unboxing videos that we just filmed here earlier today. Okay, so basically what they do is they send out the subscription service, like I said, in a bag like this. You get a card, or this fold-out pamphlet, rather, every month that tells you, let me put those down, that has a picture of uh, a real pretty gal here with the brushes that <laughs> So this month, let's just start and go forward. Now, like I said, you know, some months that I've received this, I've only received three brushes. Some months I've received six or seven. What I've noticed is that when you get the bigger brushes, and I, in other words, like the face brushes, the blush brushes, the powder brushes, stuff like that, you have a tendency to get a lot fewer brushes because they're more expensive. Whereas when you get the smaller brushes, and the smaller the brush, the more of them you seem to get. In this case, we've got, you know, some blending brushes, pencil brush, and a medium-sized brush, so we've got four in this one. Now, the reason I decided to do this, <clears throat> I did four, we did four months worth on all the other subscription services, for the most part. I think a couple of them were three months, because we're missing one, but on this one, I have five months, I think. Yeah, five months worth. And the reason I decided to do this, you know, in the brush one, it's not a huge difference. You're going to get brushes every month, but I want you to see the variance. Just like with all the other ones that Brie and I recorded prior to this, like the Birch Box, the Boxy Charm, the Glossy Box, Ipsy, you know, we wanted to save several months worth and open them all at once so that you guys had an opportunity to see month after month after month after month what you're getting. And we figured a quarter, you know, four months is a quarter of the year. So it gives you a pretty good idea of what's coming, you know, kind of how the rest of the year is going to go based off of four months. So we'll take a look here because we have five months worth. So we'll see what Morphe Me does in five months. Okay, let's start off with... Oh my gosh, with this one. This, and they all come in plastic wrap, obviously. So these look to all be, nope, they're not, only one is. You know, the thing I wish about uh, the Morphe Me here is I wish, one, they'd send out more of their Elite collection and their Rose Gold collection. They send out a lot of the M series, and their M series is basically their baseline brushes. I'd like to see more, especially, I think I only have a few. I've only received, I think this is probably the second Elite brush I've received the entire time I've been getting this. So I'd like to see more of their higher end collection brushes, like I said, the Elite, the Rose Gold, such like that. And I'd also like to see more of the larger brushes because I'm getting a ton of different kinds of blending brushes and detail brushes, but I don't get a lot of face brushes from. So I'm really, the balance is way off. 
Matter of fact, I've only received two face brushes from them the entire time, which is this, the M401 and the M551. Like I said, both M series. And there's a big difference. I mean, like for instance, when I'm holding this E series brush, these feel like they're like carbide or real, no, not carbide, not even. These feel like a, um, what's, how can I describe that? That wood, that, that real cheap wood that is, um, felt that like has air pressurized into it, almost like a particle board type wood. That's what these handles feel like. This feels like solid wood and has a much like this has a real thin, you know, flimsy type. I mean, obviously I can't squeeze it. Well, I maybe could squeeze it with my hand, but you get the point. The ferrules on these are much thinner and, you know, cheap and they're not rounded or anything. But look at the ferrules on the E-Series e here. You know, and they have the tapered brush handles <clears throat> on them. And you can see the high gloss finish on the actual handle itself. They're just as a whole. Um, and the bristles are considerably different. <coughs> Excuse me, on the E series. These are very, very soft. So I'm looking forward to using this brush, but I'd really like to see more from because if I don't start seeing uh, a little bit more of a, you know, I mean, I can go and buy these M series brushes up the yin yang. They're cheap. But the reason I got this service is because they told me that it was going to be a variety of their brushes, not just the M series. So, you know, and so far, pretty much what I've received from them is. M series, a load of M series with an occasional rose gold and an occasional E series thrown in. Yeah, I think this is the only other E series brush I've received. This is the E27, one of the blending brushes, and it's dirty right now because I used it today, I think. Yeah, but anyway, so, you know, but that's just my opinion on it. I, that's what I'd like to see. So let's get on to September's here. This one here is the Flat Buffer. I'm just going to read you the title because uh, they need somebody to write this better. Gadgets and gizmos galore. Use your jumbo crease for a blend to live for. Get the thingamabobs you need with Morphe Me. Don't be a poor unfortunate soul with no pencil crease brush to define your eyes. Keep your voice and your pretty face this month. Under the sea, your foundation is better with your new buffer. Take it from me. Flat top to blend your products in. Just wait and see. Whether you're waiting for a kiss from your prince or dreaming to be under the sea, your pointed blender will give you the crease you need. Doesn't even... Anyways, <laughs> they desperately need somebody better like me to write this for them. Okay, so anyways, we uh, I'm just going to tell you the name and I'm not going to read all the things they have on here because honestly they're terrible. So we have the E6, which is a flat buffer. Then we have the M576, which is a pointed blender. I already have that one. Then we have the M577, which is a jumbo crease. I already have that one. A lot of repeats in this one. And then we have I M578, the pencil crease, which I already have as well. But a lot of these I've purchased on my own, separate from the Morphe Me. Okay, so let's move on to October. Oh, now this is nice for a change. I totally forgot about this. So October, for those of you that are not aware, is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And thank you to those of you out there that support the cause and the research because uh, it's very personal to me as many of you know. Um, not last November but the November before I had two lumps discovered in my breast and it's been a nightmare. So for those of you who support breast cancer in any way shape or form, thank you and any of those of you out there who are personally affected by it, whether yourself, friend, family member, I'm with you. Okay, so it looks like we have a pink collection this time, which is very nice. Okay, starting, let's start with this big baby. Uh, we have the, I love the handles on these. Uh, they're really pretty. They're done in, with a, it looks like a rose gold imprint on them. Of course, they have the rose gold ferrule. 
and uh, natural colored hair. I don't know if these are natural bristles or not because unfortunately out of all the stupid information they have on here that has nothing to do with the brush there's there's you know they have all this writing on here and nothing has to do with the product I mean I don't get it like this one here let's let's read this this is the tapered powder which is PK I assume for pink 14 fleek like a girl and keep your face set Use your powder brush to blend out powder foundation, blush, or setting powder. Okay, well how about telling us a little bit about the product other than what to do with it? As an example, I'd like to know what kind of hair is on this. That'd be real nice to know. They're real pretty though. I, you know, I like the look. And these have, from what I can see, uh, Morphe's new logo on them. As you know, many of you may know, I should say. Uh, Morphe was, uh, I don't know if you call it not necessarily purchased, but they had an investors that came in and have uh, lent more money to the company, which has taken things in a different direction for them, which is great. Okay, and then we have the PK4, which is the contour brush. Then we have the PK524, which is the oval shadow brush. And then we have the PK36, which is the tapered blending brush. And lastly for this month is the PK45, which is the angled brow brush. So that one came with a nice little collection of five brushes. Good. Okay, so that was October. Let's move on to November. I just noticed I've been spending all the I've been getting scissors and cutting these bags open. This is the first time I noticed they have little pull things on them. And I'll tell you. <clears throat> okay, so let's see here. What have we got for November? More tacky writing. Okay, so now this is what I'm talking about. It's about damn time. Yes. Now see, this is just what I was talking about. And I'll be damned if all of them aren't from the Elite Collection. I've been dying to try this brush. This is the E41. If you watch beauty videos at all, you've probably, especially Morphe Affiliates, You've seen this brush, and I've been, look at that. Oh, I've been dying to try this brush. Now that feels like a nice brush. I mean, it's got good weight to it, like I said. With the Elite Collection, we've got the solid wood handle and high gloss finish. Got a real solid ferrule here that's rounded and tapered. Uh, the, you know, and the handle's tapered, so it feels real nice in the hand. And the brush, the bristles are very soft. So I'm curious to see once I wash them how they hold up. So again, that is the E41. Real excited about that. And then we have in this collection also the E28, which is the one I just showed you earlier that I'd already purchased. And these also, all the Elite Collection have the same uh, tapered handle on them. And then we have the E19, <clears throat> which is a pointed lip brush, which I do not have. So, I'm curious, it'd be fun to try those. So see what I mean here? You get, you know, when they go up into the higher price brushes, not only do you get way fewer brushes, but you get, you know, the real smaller, uh, more inexpensive brushes. At least this time they put all three of the Elite in instead of giving you an Elite and then all M series. So I'm happy about that. Okay, now let's move along to December. Oh, looks like December we have another uh, colored collection. Looks like we have the red collection this time. It's kind of fun with, uh, you know, when you get this Morphe Me that you have the opportunity to have these collections because these aren't, you know, things that you that you see a lot, like the pink ones, you know. I mean, it's kind of fun because you just get them automatically. Okay, so let's start with the first one. I'll tell you one thing I wish they'd do those. Their writing is really hard. You know, considering how many beauty vloggers they work with, you'd think that they'd figure out a way to get the writing of the number on here. 
so that it's not, you know, especially when it's on a high reflective surface like this, like put it on the end of the brush or something so it's more, it's easier to read. Okay, this is, I think, RG8. Yes, this is the tapered powder brush, RG8. Feels very soft. This reminds me of um, the handles on these feel as though they're one solid unit. I can't tell if it's, no, maybe not. I don't think it is. I think it's, I think this is the ferrule and then the handle unit here. It looks like it's put together right there. Can't tell for sure, but that's what it looks like. But this reminds me kind of of the, of the gunmetal series, except for these are a lot lighter, these handles. Okay, next up we have the RG6, which is a flat buffer brush. And then we have, let's see, what's this one? The RG24, which is a blending fluff. Very small brushes in comparison to most of their... <laughs> look at the difference. So they're considerably smaller brushes. And lastly, we have the R18, which is the round crease brush. So, there we have December's collection. Nice little red collection there. Okay, and lastly, let's move on to January. And speak of the gunmetal collection, here it is. I enjoy the gunmetal collection. It's a real sturdy, nice brush. But I think I've already received all these, so let's take a peek here. Yeah, interesting. I don't know. Okay, let's start off with the first one, which is the G5. This is a pointed powder brush. And again, this is what I was just comparing the red collection to in terms of the handles. See how similar they are? Matter of fact, it looks almost as if they're they're put near identical except for where the ferrule crimp is here in the center of the brush. So, but again, that's the G5. And the Gunmetal series has the variated colored brushes there. And then, we have the, let's see here, G39. This is a deluxe foundation brush. Interesting how it's fluffy. Huh, I don't know. I'll have to try that one out. And I know I have this one here, which is the G42, which is a contour brush. They already sent this to me. So I'm not quite sure why they're sending me duplicate brushes of what I already have, but that's okay. So in that one, we only got three. Okay, so just to go over again, this was September, October, November, December, and January. So if you were to get Morphe Me for five months, this is how many brushes you would get. If I can hold on to them all at once. Hang on here. There we have five months worth of Morphe Me. So you see how fast you can build up your brush collection, you guys? For 20 bucks a month. And no, I'm not a Morphe affiliate. Morphe has no idea I exist or that I'm doing this review. So this is just my personal opinion. So that, in my opinion, that is a chuck ton of brushes. So if you figure $20 a month times five months, that's $100. So I guess you have to decide whether or not this is a hundred dollars worth of brushes to you. What I'd be curious to do is go through these, look on their website and get the retail price for each one of these brushes and then put them down below and I might just do that. If I have the extra time then I will do that. I'll go through and price all these out and put them in the description box for you month by month to see how much better value you're getting or if you're getting a value at all. So anyways, that is my Morphe Me five months worth 
for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in seeing more unboxings, remember to check out all the other ones that Bree and I recorded because if they're not up yet, they will be. <laughs> uh, wherever you're at in the world, I hope you're doing well. And if you're having struggles, you're beating those bitches back and persevering. Never give up. Never give it in. Never let anyone tell you no. I love you guys. And remember always, love and respect. Love and respect. I love you guys. Bye.